Hi, how are you doing? This is Lee Gerstmann here, and I have a record review for you. Um, I have to say, hi, buddy. How are you doing? Hope you are grooving well. To Justin Childers, because I asked him what album would he like me to review, and he mentioned an album by Rat called Out of the Cellar. Now, when it comes to some groups and reviews, I've sometimes said I've heard very little of their music, and I finally got a chance to hear an album and review it. In this case, I'm very much familiar with a bunch of Rat's stuff, and I'm very familiar with this album. I had it a long time, meaning like a long time ago I had it, and I heard it a lot, and I had some of their other albums. They were one of the groups that I collected, probably all the way up to and including the album Dance Undercover, and then after that album, well, you can't get everything, you know, so there were other groups that I was interested in, and for some reason it just seemed after Dance Undercover I kind of thought, well... You know, I, whatever I thought, you know, I, I stopped collecting them, even though I heard maybe one or two other albums that they did after that. But anyway, Out of the Cellar, that was, well, you know, we've all heard certain songs from it on MTV and all that, and so I liked their sound, and in fact, some of the women who I knew, they were kind of like, ooh, I don't like Rat, and I thought to myself, well, huh, that's kind of odd, because I like them, and I'm not going to change my mind about liking them just because you don't, but anyway, let's just get into the songs. The first song Wanted Man, I always thought it was a strange album opener. To me, it seemed more like a second song, not a first. But it has a swagger, and I really like it. And as the song continues on, it gets better and better and has a really good groove. And then the song You're in Trouble... Um, to me, that sounded a little bit like a rehash of Back for More. It wasn't really my favorite. And then Round and Round, this would have been the perfect album opener. Great song. This is one of my favorites. And then In Your Direction... I would call this a deep cut. It's very good and not one most fans talk about. But yes, really good song. And then She Wants Money. This sounds like a Motley Crue song. To me, it would have been better on Theater of Pain, but on here it seems more filler. And then Lack of Communication, that sounded something like what my band could have written. It's alright. And then Back for More, it's been a long time since I heard this remake of the song originally on the EP, which I really like. But this version too is really good, and I dig it. And then the morning after, this seems like their attempt to do heavier metal, even though, you know, in a popular context, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. And then I'm Insane, that sounds exactly like a Motley Crue song, and it's a great song. And then the last one, Scene of the Crime, this is a cool song, and it's... A great album closer. 
So, yeah, one of the reasons I probably didn't at first review Out of the Cellar was because to me it seemed like one of the obvious albums. Like, you know, if you're a biologist who works mostly under the sea and you want to talk about stuff, you might not just want to talk about water. You know, you might want to talk about other things like rocks or moss or whatever, even though water is what you usually deal with. So kind of, I felt like Out of the Cellar was an album that was such an obvious pick that I wouldn't have necessarily thought of it on my own. But I want to thank you, Justin, for suggesting it because, hell, if it's an album that I've known and grew up with, why not review it? So, good suggestion. Well, that's been my review, everyone. Have a good day.